Welcome to our feedback at Fox Hill Parental Engagement video. This video will give you an insight into how we feedback effectively. We have a clear rationale to explain the vision behind our feedback toolkit and why we believe that there is not just one way to feedback to children in an effective way. We believe that effective feedback should be provided to all children regularly to help them become lifelong learners, preparing them for life after primary school as well as ensuring that our feedback policy motivates and engages all staff that use it to support the children. We have five core principles that we believe feedback must be. Feedback must be timely, being aware of the time that the feedback is both written and then responded to. The more immediate this is to the learning taking place, the more effective it will be. Feedback must enable progress, this is where we carefully consider the form of feedback we use to facilitate moving the children's learning on. Feedback must occur at all levels. Providing opportunities for the children to feedback in a variety of ways will enable rich discussion for all. Feedback must be well informed. It is imperative that staff know their children and how they learn, demonstrating good subject knowledge and preempting how to move children forward. Feedback must be proportionate. The input from the staff should match or be outweighed by that of the child to get the most out of their learning experience. What is mindset? It is simply a belief about yourself and can relate to ability, faith, personality or talent. We all have a mindset. There is growth mindset and fixed mindset. Growth mindset where intelligence and talent can go up or down. A fixed mindset where you think that intelligence and talent are fixed at birth. Many of us have a fixed mindset in some experiences and subjects and a growth mindset in others. What kind of mindset do you have? A growth mindset or a fixed mindset? A growth mindset is when I can learn anything I want to. When I'm frustrated, I persevere. I want to challenge myself. When I fail, I learn. Tell me I try hard. If you succeed, I'm inspired. My effort and attitude determine everything. Or a fixed mindset where you tell yourself I'm either good at it or I'm not. When I'm frustrated, I give up. I don't like to be challenged. When I fail, I'm no good. Tell me I'm smart. If you succeed, I'm threatened. My abilities determine everything. Here are five tips for growth mindset at home. Pay attention to what the children are doing successfully, no matter how small, and verbally praise them on factors such as their work efforts, persisting with a challenge, or learning from a mistake. Be as specific as you can, as the more specific you are, the likelihood of them repeating this behaviour is high. Be a growth mindset role model. Children are always listening. Be sure to rephrase common sentences that start with things such as, I can't or I'm not good at. Encourage your child to grapple with their learning and to embrace a challenge as problem solving is when the best learning takes place. Growth mindset applies to many aspects of a child's life, whether it be a new hobby or a new life skill. It shouldn't only be used academically. And finally, talk to your children and discuss the element of practice, persistence and hard work and how this leads to success and positive achievements. On a daily basis, teachers will be making use of a range of different strategies to assess and feedback to pupils. These strategies include live marking, the green box, self-assessment, honesty sheets and peer assessments. So we've been through the feedback toolkit and now we're going to have a look at what that actually looks like in books and what you might see when you are flicking through your child's book or learning during parents' evening or through their reports or just any images that you might come across on Twitter as well. 
Live marking is one strategy that we use as teachers during the lesson to assess how the children are progressing with their learning and to check for their understanding so that we can give feedback on the spot to enable them to make really good progress. The toolkit also allows the pupils to lead their own feedback through self-assessment and peer assessment and also through talk partners and Kagan structures which are active learning strategies that we use to allow the pupils to assess their own learning and give feedback to each other in order to progress in the lesson. They use sentence terms and scaffolds to help them with this as well as reflection postcards which have questions to prompt them to think about their learning deeply and to think about what they might do in terms of a next step to make it even better. In every lesson the pupils use their steps to success to assess their learning during the lesson. They follow the steps to make sure that they have been successful in solving a problem or a writing strategy or thinking about the activity that they're going to be doing. They use these steps to think about whether or not they've been successful and to check their learning and go back and use them to identify when they might have made a learning mistake that they can go back and correct and then use those learning mistakes to reason around what they would do next time and how they might approach the task or question differently. Here is an example of how a pupil has gone through their writing and identified where they've made mistakes or grammatical errors um, and use their learning to correct these mistakes. Sometimes these can be prompted by the teacher but often they are encouraged to do this independently so that they are able to self-regulate and assess themselves in order to identify opportunities for next steps. In what order to research allow the pupils to be successful when best, providing feedback they are to able their peers, collaborate and the teachers will teach the to one another how to successfully they learn best from their peers give strategies when they are and next steps to their peers their learning. using modelling. This is why most of our lessons and also Kagan structures to, give to enable pupils to give practice feedback before to they go on peers peer and spot learning mistakes. In order and to also allow them to be successful when providing feedback to see whether or not they have made the same will teach the children how to successfully go back give strategies and next steps to their peers using modelling, sentence stems and also Kagan structures to give them the opportunity to practice before they go on to give peer feedback. In order to allow the pupils to be successful when providing feedback to their peers, the teachers will teach the children how to successfully give strategies and next steps to their peers using modelling, sentence stems and also Kagan structures to give them the written feedback to practice is also often before they go with on the to give to elicit depth of their responses in order to and allow to the children to be reason and think a bit more deeply feedback to their peers around their learning the teachers will teach it may be the children to justify how to choice successfully or give reason strategies around and next steps strategy strategy to their peers using to get modeling, them to think about where they may be able to and use also this Kagan learning structures in another to give area them the of the curriculum to practice or how they could before they go on to give into later or future lessons in order to allow the pupils to be successful when providing feedback to their peers using a range of different strategies to children how to successfully enabling the pupils Give to be strategies involved in the and process. next steps to their has had a fantastic modelling on pupils' sentence outcomes, stems, which I'm sure also Kagan you will see and to notice give from your child's book practice and responses before they go on they are to doing home learning at home as well. In Here order is some to allow and teach your voice successful to show you the impact to their peers, how successful the, the teachers will has teach been. the children if how you have to any further questions. Please give strategies do not hesitate and next steps talk to, to your child's class teacher modelling, find out a little bit more about how to translate it to give them the opportunity to practice.